Ladies and gentlemen, the American German Bulldog Nation, welcome to the Eric Dieter Show, sponsored by Eric Dieter's Consulting Company, Park Yoga, Top Shine Detailing. Check us out on all of our platforms. Well, there's only one story. Trump wins Iowa. He gets over 50%. DeSantis is like 20. Uh, Nikki Haley's like at 18. Vivek Ramaswamy is like at 7. Vivek backs out. Drops his campaign, endorses Trump. Trump embraces him. Trump, in his victory speech, throws a curveball. Is nice to DeSantis and Nikki Haley. Asks them all to come together. Does DeSantis and Haley do that? Nope. On to New Hampshire, which will be next Tuesday. I did a Facebook Live about this, some things that I would like to point out about it. People aren't going to be talking about this. This helps Trump big time in all his legal battles. Why? Because as the presumptive nominee, the guy who is going to be the nominee, it gives him stronger legal standing with every argument that he makes. It is election interference. They are trying to affect the outcome of a presidential election. So this really, really, really helps. The other thing is, DeSantis and Nikki Haley are not likely to step aside. Why? They're spending other people's money to increase their name recognition, increase their organization for a potential 2028, whatever. It's not about this race. They know they're going to lose. There's no path to their victory. But we'll see what happens. All right. This is a story that we're going to make a cut. And I want it. I want it emailed to me uh, to Sabrina. Twenty-five percent of hospital deaths result in doctors' mistakes. In other words, they happen from a doctor's error. Now, obviously, not everybody dies that goes into hospitals. A small percentage, but twenty-five percent of those are a mistake. I say this all the time to you. What they tell you could be a lie. If you die in a hospital, it doesn't cost you a nickel to contact me and I'll hook you up with a free review of your medical records, your loved one's medical records to make sure. You ought to do it even if there is anything suspicious because you never know. You get those medical records, guess what? You, me, everybody. We don't look at our medical charts when we're in the freaking hospital. You never know, folks. You never know. And this is is real. All right. Tesla Chicago stations. People are leaving their cars, abandoning their cars, frozen, unable to charge their cars. World War III. Germany, apparently there was a release. Germany is preparing for the potential World War III caused by Putin. Isn't that special? You can't make this up, as I like to say. Rice University is offering a course called Afrochemistry. It's about racism and chemistry. (laughs) Folks, chemistry is chemistry. It is science. And atoms and atoms, a molecule is a molecule. If I told you, uh, Jamie Spinley and Sabrine, I'm proud of this. I have been studying uh, science. Yeah. Did you know there was something called a quark? I didn't. A quark, Q-U-A-R-K, is something they know exists, which is smaller than even an atom. No one's ever seen it, but they know it exists, they say. Pretty soon, we're going to have quark bombs. (laughs) Zelensky is saying he wants a high-powered peace conference held at Switzerland. Sounds like to me that He knows it's going bad. All right. Joe Biden is now at 33% disapproval. Lowest president forever since George Bush. I'm a frat boy. Look at me. I'm a frat boy. Was given some stock in Texas Rangers. Made $5 million. Got elected governor. President. Y'all want to have beer? Should just do a lot of cocaine? Frat boy. (laughs) It's the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.
Ladies and gentlemen, American Jerry and Bulldog Nation, welcome to Eric Dieter's Local News, sponsored by Dieter's Consulting, Park Yoga, Top Shine Detailing. Check us out on all of our platforms. This is a show where we don't use a teleprompter, and we cover all the news that you need. We don't cover weather. You already know the weather. We don't cover the weather. It's also a slow news day. But when I do this, folks, I'm not reading from a teleprompter. All right. Parents turn in their own child in the carjacking out in Hebron. What does this tell you? This says these are parents that care about saving their son's life. Obviously, he's on a path that they know they need to save him by reporting him. Good for them. All right, the police raided the wrong home. You can't make this up. El Yara Police in Ohio, special response team. Courtney Price, 25, was visiting her aunt. 17-month-old uh, was awaiting heart surgery next month. They come in with a concussion bomb. Boom. Child's hurt. Child's in ICU. Boy, I'd love to have this case. Woo. Unbelievable. Wrong house. You know what? If you're going to do all that stuff, you better double check and make sure it's the right house. There are a bunch of pestilent South canker blossoms. All right. In local news, Red River Gorge, they rescued four by helicopter yesterday. What are you doing in a gorge when you know a winter storm's coming? I say leave them there. Let them become icebergs. I'm just teasing. All right. In Kentucky news, Kentucky Secretary of State says we need more polling places and we need more volunteers. Thank you very much. I wish this guy would have got sent packing back to Missouri, but he didn't. Leading vote getter. Ugh. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Check out Eric Dieter's weekly news every Friday. This is Eric Dieter's world news, the latest headlines. New Zealand's MP, Goldritz Garman from the Green Party, has resigned after police investigations into multiple shoplifting allegations. Garman mentioned work-related stress as the reason for her actions and expressed remorse for letting down so many people in the country. In Ronana, Israel, a woman lost her life and more than a dozen people were hurt in a suspected stabbing and car ramming. Police have arrested two Palestinians accusing them of stealing cars and running over several people in different parts of Rwanda. In other news, the world's largest iceberg is undergoing dramatic changes as erosion sculpts massive caves and arches into its frozen walls. A ship from the EO expedition recently observed these transformations, highlighting the impact of warmer air and surface water as the iceberg drifts from the Antarctica. In the coming months, it is expected to continue melting until it disappears entirely. And a formal portrait of King Charles III wearing an admiral of the fleet uniform with displayed medals and honours was revealed at Windsor Castle today. This portrait will be displayed in public buildings, incurring courts and government offices. Until tomorrow, cheerio. Ladies and gentlemen, American Jury and Bulldog Nation, welcome to Sports Without Boundaries, where we're sponsored by Top Shine Detailing. Check them out. All right, well, the Bucks, man, I'm happy for Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield and the Buccaneers annihilated the Eagles, the free fall. They were 10 and 1, number one seed, and then whoosh, 32 and 29. By the way, included in that free for all, that's those uh, uh, losing five out of their six games. They barely beat Dallas. I mean, so it could have been six straight losses. It's wild, absolutely wild how they free fell. 32 to 9. Buccaneers now get to go beat the 49ers. They got a great defense. I give them a fighter's chance. Steelers lost the Bills 17 to 31. I tell you right now, Allen was unbelievable. Tackling was a problem. For the Steelers. Bill Belichick had an interview yesterday with the Atlanta Falcons. Please, Bill, do not sign. Please keep the door and options open to go to Dallas. Dak Prescott. You can't make this up. Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys are the only team to be 12 and 5 three years and not make the conference championship. Dak is a choker. He's an Andy Dalton. Great guy. Puts up the stats, just doesn't have it. Doesn't have it. You know what? I was willing to give him the benefit of the doubt until this week. 
you know, to lose at home again with that team after not losing at home for 16 is a complete choke job. You are ridiculous to think one day that's not going to happen to him. He, he just doesn't have it. All right, Reds drought. Because the Detroit Lions won a playoff game, the Reds have the longest playoff drought of any professional major team. Un freaking believable. I think it was 93? Yeah, 95. 95? Okay. Almost 30 years. Tw- 28 years without a playoff win. That's sad. It's going to change this year. Dwayne Wade is going to be the first Miami Heat player to have a statue built outside the stadium. Good for him. Congratulations. I thought maybe morning would be, might be next. All right. UConn and the new AP is number one for the first time forever. And UK only dropped two points after losing to Texas a on the road. Messi, the player of the year, sent to me by the Brit. Draymond Green returned, did not get a technical, did not get kicked out of the game. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day. Ladies and gentlemen, American Jerry and Bulldog Nation, welcome to Eric Dieter's Pop Culture, sponsored by Top Shine Detailing. Well, the Emmys were there last, uh, held last night. Everybody looks so beautiful on the red carpet. Folks, this is the epitome of what's wrong with this country. I'm all for the old Hollywood. I thought old Hollywood had some class and style. This is complete self-aggrandizement. They are a bunch of pestilent soused canker blossoms. And all they do is, oh, oh, oh. These award programs, I hate them. Who won the Emmys? I don't know, and I don't care, and I'm not reporting it. I just want to bash them. All right, Shannon Darty, God bless her, is dying of cancer. She's got little time left. She's apparently got a long list of who's not invited to her funeral. Well, that's going out with some hate. <laughs> Nothing like leaving, 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 leaving Earth, you know, with a little love and forgiveness. Though we're all on our deathbed, all's forgiven. No, not Shannon Darty. I don't want him coming. I don't want her coming. She cheated on me and my boyfriend in middle school. This is the list of all the pestilent South Tanker blossoms I do not want coming to my funeral. God bless you, Shannon. Hope you get a miracle cure. All right. The Queen Elizabeth apparently had never been angrier when Meghan and Harry overstepped their bounds and named their daughter Lilibet, which is her pet nickname, Philip gave her. Did not like it at all. Total suck up, didn't work, backfired. She apparently was anger in hell. You know what? Harry and Meghan, you could hand them a winning billion dollar lottery ticket and they'd F it up. They would lose it. It would belong to somebody else. It would come out that they stole it. I mean, whatever. They can't freak. We used to say on the farm, he, you'd mess up an anvil. An anvil is a big piece of steel that blacksmiths used to hit metal against hot, you know, to shape it. It's impossible to hurt an anvil. They would mess up an anvil. They just would. They're a freaking walking disaster. Every move they make, boom, bow. This is the bulldog, every dog. You know what they are? They're pestilent South canker blossoms. This is the bulldog, every dog has their day. Have a great day.